scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You're the strong and breasted one. You are the strong and breasted one. I worship you, great I am. I worship you, great I am. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. I worship you, Prince Strong and breasted one, I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. time I lift my hand I lift my hand in worship We seek to your name, O oh God. You 
you and so we have to finish the curriculum so fast trust me i'm not motivating you god is in a hurry to let the world see what he has made out of you the bible says that we are objects of praise when an artist finish uh, when he finishes designing a work he brings it out and then everybody keeps looking at the work and it describes the excellence of that artist Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you praise. How many of us here are very confident about what God is doing in our lives? You are not guessing. You know that you are walking accurately. This is not guess again. This is not trial and error. If I will be great, if God will bless me, or if my father is this. One of the things that I believe we have come to respect in this place. Um, are the laws of the kingdom. Everybody say the laws of the kingdom. The laws of the kingdom are a revelation of the love of God to mankind. So that your success in life or your failure. Becomes absolutely dependent on you. And not on God. And if you take responsibility for your life, listen to me please, if you take responsibility, I assure you, no power in existence. You know, some of them said, if you know where I come from, and all of that. The only way to prevail over the wickedness that exists in this realm is to pay attention to the laws of the kingdom. They were designed to cripple Satan. There are two ways to bind the devil. One is by prayer. Another is by knowledge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I'll be sharing on something very powerful, building on what I taught last week. If you've not listened to last week's message, please listen again and again. I think I've listened to it about two times or so. Extraordinary success. This is very important. This is not, listen, let me clarify something. Hold on. This is not this success, success thing. You know, there's, there's a way people behave about success. You know that this is foolishness. This is madness going nowhere. Right? Oh, I'll be successful in this and that and that. Things will change and people jump and gyrate. And at the end of the service, you ask the person, how was the service? Say, what? I, I cannot even explain. You ask the person now, so what did you learn? And what new decision are you going to make as a result of what you've learned? Say, I don't know, but I just feel it in my body. Something has happened. You will never be successful that way. Christianity is not being fetish. Are you getting my point? God makes you anointed and he, he builds you with content. There are many people with good experiences. Oh, we fell down, we got up, wonderful. But if there is no content inside of you, you are going nowhere. Absolutely. So it's not enough to fall down and say I was shaking. I couldn't describe why my right hand was just moving alone. Wonderful. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a job. Unfortunately, it doesn't make you great. That is a spiritual experience communicating something. We're not neglecting the operations of the spirit. But you must have content. Tell your neighbor, have content. Praise the Lord. So God is giving us wisdom. 
God is giving us keys that will distinguish us. Let's go to work tonight. Father, thank you. Tonight's teaching seeks to open us up to the dynamics of greatness. I want to share with us in detail how God announces men and how God makes men great. It's not just you will be great. I want to show you how it happens. Praise the Lord. And I want you to follow me because, you know, I sense in my spirit, I've been saying this thing like the Ark of Noah, that I know that it will happen this year that a season is coming and it's going to be so fast what the Lord is going to do. Remember the scripture I shared with us that the Lord told me, that will increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Hallelujah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. I thank you for lifting. My Hallelujah. Ah! What you will hear tonight will so bless you. I'm no, 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 no. Don't shout amen. It's something I'm about to start teaching. <laughs> you know, sometimes these things scatter my head. You know how someone takes. All of you who were in the world, who God delivered you and ransomed you from all kinds of nonsense. You know? Praise the Lord. You see a madman on the road alone and he's just singing and bouncing. Even if he's inside a gutter, he's just singing and in his mind, he's in a world all by himself. That's what the word of God does. He said, I found your word and I did eat them and it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. He said, my son, eat thou honey for it is good for you. Eat thou honey. There is what you can know. You don't need anything to happen physically. Are you getting my point? It's like a farmer who plants, pastor. You don't plant a tree and then you come and you are wondering. You are so anxious. People look at you and you say, ah, will this thing grow? No. The man just goes to start buying bags in preparation because he knows that the ground was commanded to produce. Are you getting my point? Mm. So, there are things that when you know, you start rejoicing and dancing. Because for, for it not to manifest, is like saying Jesus didn't die on the cross. Is that guaranteed? Hallelujah. Let's get to the word of God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. What is the secret of greatness? What does it even mean to be great? Really? What does it mean to be great? You know, we talk about greatness. What does it mean to be great? Because we have to understand, in the kingdom, what does it mean to be great? Hallelujah. To be great means to have an enlarged sphere of influence. To have an enlarged sphere of influence. He said, thou shall increase my greatness. An enlarged sphere of influence. To be great means to have increased access. To be great means to have increased access. Access to anything. Resources, people. Please make sure you write. To be great means to have what? Increased sphere of influence. And it also means to have increased access. Access to whatever. Resources, people, opportunities. Hallelujah. And why is greatness important in the kingdom? We must get this. You know, everything we discuss, we discuss with respect to the kingdom. Why is it necessary? Listen. Listen. Do not let anybody preach you out of the sincere desire to be great. Because sometimes in a bid to show that we are Christians, we say, Lord, please don't make me great. Let me not fall into sin. Let me not do this. Kingdom advancement is highly dependent on kingdom influence. 
it takes greatness and influence to enforce the kingdom you must understand this no one will truly be able to influence this system and bring in the value system of the kingdom without increase without influence and greatness the bible says and the boy jesus for him to be able to carry out his assignment he had to grow in wisdom he had to grow in what stature not just the word stature there does not mean um physical growth no the word stature there means influence a time came in the life of jesus they said all men seek for thee he was on the mountain and five thousand men aside women and children came everybody say influence it is very important to understand the components that the prophetic agenda of God is dependent upon. So that we will not just be religious. Now, there are people who want to be great just because they have suffered too much. While that is not a wrong reason, it's not, it's not, it does not qualify to be an ultimate motivation when you come into the kingdom. To say, I've suffered too much. I must be great in life. That's ambitious. It's wonderful. Except for the fact that when you come into the kingdom, you must edit your motive to suit the desire of the king. Hallelujah. So God wants us to be great. Without greatness, listen, without greatness, he told Abraham, he said, I will make your name, I will give you an identity of greatness and that greatness will call the attention of the kings and the people around and they will come to see what your God is doing said it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain of the Lord's house have you read that scripture the mountain of the Lord's house shall do what be exalted above all other mountains and as a result men will flow to it until the mountain is exalted men cannot flow to it are you getting what I'm saying now it is easy to listen to a great man than to listen to a man who is struggling with greatness is that true So the Lord wants to increase our greatness. Our greatness in every ramification. Financially, spiritually, and otherwise. Oh, I receive what he wants to give. I receive it. No religion will preach me out of this. No piety, no sense of false holiness will push me out of the revelation. It is as a result of the, my love for the king that I need to gain an influence across the mountains that he has given me the authority to legislate so that they will hear the word of the Lord. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. Don Moen got it precisely. That's what will happen to you. Distant shores and the eyes for me and as a result he that loved me shall be loved of my father and i will love him and will manifest myself to him is that in your scripture that means god is saying i will come i will reveal dimensions to him he that obeys me is he that loves me it's not enough to just say i love you i fear you i you. there are so many believers talk is cheap First John 5 verse 3. The Bible gives us another very clear test. First John 5 verse 3. Oh, Shibakatalabakora Sidabaladabai. Somebody is changing in the name of Jesus. First John 5 verse 3. Can we read together? One to read. For this is the what? Love of God that we keep his commandments. And the Bible says his commandments are not burdensome. The word grievous there is the word burdensome hallelujah he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light his commands are not burdensome please don't let anybody fool you there are laws in the kingdom i've said it these things are it's not the law of old testament it they are the laws that give structure to the kingdom the laws of the kingdom are like the skeleton in a man's body that's what gives form and structure in the kingdom. 
Alléluia. You must have the fear of the Lord. You must have the spirit of reverence. So I can look at your life and know whether you fear God or not. Hallelujah. Don't say, ah, I, I fear God by faith. Even him, he knows. Uh -uh. There are exact parameters. You're not walking in his ways. You're not living by his principles and his value system. Don't tell me you fear God. When you can, you don't know the difference between church and a disco hall. Between well, believers don't in this side of God's kingdom are not so involved in all those things again. But there are all kinds of things we do, and we believe. Listen, please and please, and I, I don't, I don't mean this. I don't mean this to, um, to discredit ministers and ministries in the body of Christ. But I've said it again and again that the message of grace is only an accurate message. If it is accepted as part of the full gospel are you getting my point the whole gospel must be preached there is a level to which the grace message is taught and just tells you oh don't concentrate on your love for God concentrate on his love for you and concentrate on all of that and you know anything will happen everything has been done wonderful what then is the reward of obedience why then is their hellfire if everything is like that god must apologize to ananias and Sapphira. don't you think so was it not in the new testament they fell down and they died why couldn't he have at least given them a chance maybe they will repent later on how could a loving god make the lake of fire hallelujah seven churches in, in the book of revelation when god began to talk to them he was focused on their works i know your works i know your works is, is that in your bible brothers and sisters be careful hallelujah honor the body of christ but you must realize that if the gospel is not taught holistically it can lead people into error. There are a lot of people missing it and dancing around in ignorance, believing. Are you getting my point? Let me share with you something that will surprise you. D.L. Moody. Many of you have read about him, right? D.L. Moody was a mighty evangelist of God. And he came and preached for decades. When D.L. Moody died, sir, after 10 years, they decided to do a like a little census to follow up the converts of D.L. Moody. Please listen. This is, this is not an exaggerated statement. Hallelujah. And they found out that only one out of 10 converts of D.L. Moody were still standing in the faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? I respect him. I honor him. Hallelujah. It was, look at such a great man. After laboring, they found out that most of the people who were coming out in his meetings, only one out of ten remained safe and were still in the faith. We're not talking of people who built ministries. Those who were still eligible to make heaven according to the, the standards of the word of God. What happened to all the emotionalism that happened in those meetings? And then they took the same census for a man called Charles G. Finney. Hallelujah. And they found out most of the great men you see, most of the great men, they were products of that man's revival. When you got born again in his meeting, you hear everything that keeps you in the faith for life. Something is wrong with our gospel. It's not incorrect, but it's not complete either. There are missing sides that we must couple together. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. God is a loving God, but God is also a just God. Hallelujah. What I have just told you now is called the gospel of the kingdom. It switches dimension and lets you know that Jesus is not only a savior, but he is a king. 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have allowed people to do all kinds of things. There are believers today who have all kinds of pornography on their phones, their laptops. They watch it and the moment the Holy Spirit wants to convict them, they say, I'll never feel guilty. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Tomorrow they go back and do it again. Somebody goes, come on now, let's, let, I, you know, you trust me, I love you too much not to tell you the truth. People sleep around and do all kinds of things and yes, God is a forgiving God. There is a difference between a challenge in your life and the spirit of rebellion at work in your life. Rebellion is a perpetual, willful, continual state of violating God's principles. And the consequence is hellfire. I don't care whether you're a pastor or whether you are whatever. Please take what I'm saying seriously. Hallelujah. Paul, the one who brought what we know as the Pauline epistles. If his gospel was so pleasant, I have a question. Why did they stone him? Have you ever wondered? Why did they stone him? What did he say that got the people angry? That they stoned him? Hallelujah. Why did they behead James? It wasn't just because they were angry at them. There was a content that we are missing today. And that's the reason. I'm telling you, this is why many believers are not powerful. Anything comes and just throws us down. Because there is a content of the gospel that needs to be re-examined. Now don't carry your zeal and go and listen to every message a man of God is preaching and you get up and say, I know better. That's foolishness. I hope you understand that God is granting us maturity. But I am just telling you that as much as the grace message is good, it only makes sense when it is incorporated as the whole truth. There are many other components of the kingdom. What's the formula for water? The chemical formula for water is what? H2O. Is that true? Just add one more um, what now of oxygen. It becomes H2O2. What is that? Are you seeing that? Same thing that can be water now. For adding something wrong, it can become poison at once and kill you. Everything in the kingdom must be taught within the dimensions that Jesus kept them. Hallelujah. I'm saying this because there are people who will be listening to these teachings all across and some of you, God is going to trust you with ministries. You will have your churches. Please don't be afraid of being criticized. You must stand and teach the truth. Are you getting me? I remember somebody who sent me a text one day and said, please, um, I have a problem with you praying for people. How do believers just manifest and you say you are casting out demons out of them? Is that really true? And I, I just sent the person my text. I said, I love you. We see from different perspectives in the kingdom. And God will help us. We operate from the perspectives that we see. And that was all I said. Praise the Lord. Time is a revealer. I hope you know that. Time. Time. There are some things you should never talk about. Time. Just allow time to pass. Time. That's why sometimes you say something and God keeps quiet. Hmm. People just say, you will never make it. And God never responds. And you are saying, God, God has already spoken. Time is a language in this realm. It can speak so loud. Brothers and sisters, when we started this thing, you are seeing. I cannot tell you how many people criticize the things we are doing. They say it won't last. I, 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 I saw many zealous pastors. Those of you who were around those times, you know that it was madness in this side of God's kingdom. Everybody was doing everything. People carrying briefcases and ladies all around them. I am this, I am that. People scrounging to go for radio programs and all of that. And some of us look like fools. But he has chosen the foolish things. With everything. With everything. We will shout for your glory. 
with everything with everything we will shout forth your praise oh 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 oh, oh, oh. I mislead you and I teach you error the God of heaven is going to judge me even if I don't love you I love my destiny are you getting what I'm saying the Bible says ask for the ancient paths and walk in it I'll never forget one minister I've, I've shared with you the story that guy's ministry was grounded things were tight there were all kinds of demonic things, but that guy would never accept that there was a demonic problem. No, no, there's nothing wrong. Nothing was happening. And one day he summoned courage to come for counseling. And so as soon as he entered, I saw a spirit enter with him. And he just came, just sat down. And then he was telling me all kinds of things. Things are not exactly working, this and that. I said, my brother, I need to pray for you. Ah! guy felt embarrassed his, his ego you know and you know we get deceived because you touch somebody and the person falls you just believe that it means God has finished working on you is that true and I was going to pray for the person the last thing he could remember was that he got down on his knees right scattered the place scattered the room and I, 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 I said look at this is the same person who will argue and maybe insult me and write articles and write all kinds of things. This guy got up, went back to his ministry and boom! Goodness! How a man can sit down in ignorance for years. Whereas in two minutes of humility, your destiny can open up. How, how believers in the body have sat down in ignorance. Their salvation is closer to them than they can ever see. But it takes meekness to receive the word. You can be dying. There are families that can be dying in situations. Whereas the arm of the Lord is not short that it can save. What is keeping you from entering the next level of your life? Could it be that that brokenness. There is nothing wrong to accept that. Oh, this is what I used to believe but I've seen clearer now. Lord, help your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's hurry up. We're still talking about how to secure favor with God. We have to rush. Number two, you must have faith in God. You want to secure the favor of the the, um, the favor of God in your life. Remember, we're talking about favor with God. You must have faith in God. It's very important. James 5 verse 4 tells us this is the victory that overcomes. And it says, even our faith. You know what it means to have faith in God? I'm going to explain it to you. The first revelation of having faith in God is to trust Him. It's as simple as that. Trust Him. Don't complicate your faith experience. It means trust Him. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6 says, In all your ways, not some, in all your ways, recognize Him, acknowledge Him, and His reward for your acknowledging Him is that He will make straight your path. And then verse 7 says, It's a warning. It says, Be not wise in your own understanding. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Be not wise. In your own understanding. That means you can feel you are wise in your own understanding. But it says fear the Lord. And that fear of the Lord will make you turn away from evil. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 verse 6 tells us that without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must believe that he is. In other words that he exists. And then number two that he is the rewarder of them that 
diligently seek him. It takes faith. Hallelujah. It takes faith in God. It takes faith in God. Very important. You must trust in the Lord. Psalms 125 verse 1. It said, they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken. Hallelujah. Very important. They that trust in the Lord. When you have faith in God, it gives you stability. Through all of the boisterous winds that blow around our lives. Where are we? Okay. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion which shall not be removed or shaken, but abides forever. Do you trust in the Lord? What is faith first and foremost? Let me tell you. Faith is never faith until it can be seen or heard. Let me shock you right now. Faith is never faith until it can be seen or heard. Faith comes from the Greek word pistis. Hallelujah. What that means is your faith is your persuasion or conviction plus the corresponding action you take based on that conviction are you getting my point now if you have not acted on faith it's called belief it's not called faith are you getting me belief is just your persuasion when you act based on that belief it becomes faith so the Bible says, have faith in God. Become persuaded so much in the character of God that you take steps based on that conviction. So the equation of faith is revelation plus conviction or persuasion then plus corresponding action. Write it and never forget. Because faith comes when you hear the word of God. So it starts with revelation. Then that revelation brings conviction or persuasion. You are convinced about this reality you just heard about. Convinced enough to take steps. Then the Bible calls that. Without the action component is called belief. What many people are doing that they call faith is belief. That means not acting on the word of God is the clearest proof that you don't trust God. Not acting on the word of God is the clearest proof biblically that you do not trust God. So many people hear the word of God and we claim to be convinced. Let me tell you in this life, the moment you are convinced about a thing, action is almost automatic. Hallelujah. A guy sees a lady and thinks he likes her and he keeps nursing that persuasion until it pushes him to say, Sister, please, after Koinonia, I'll be at this door. Will you mind passing there? That's action. Three guys saw the lady and said, Wow, nice lady. I saw the way, you know, she's fine and she likes God praying. It's nice when a fine lady is praying. And that's all. He stopped and they all moved. But he was convinced and he said, Look, I'm going to take a step further. Right? And he meets the lady. And then they get married. What is that? Action. Whereas there is another brother who kept saying, me, even me, God knows from the depths of my heart, this is my wife. And you watch somebody complete the equation and carry your wife. I just spoke about marriage. Some of you have woken up now. Brothers, you need this message before you carry any man's daughter to the altar. Hmm. That statement you make at the altar is so implicating. It will take a long time for you to see the, the significance of that vow. Don't let your tithe deceive you. You are standing, they are just talking. Will you do this? Everybody, you are just telling everybody, I'm getting married. After the marriage, the robber will hit the road. Your eye will clear. My friend, the Jimmy says, love is blind. But marriage will open your eyes. Praise God. So let's hurry up. Number three, I'm going to shock you now. You want to secure favor with God? The third principle is the tithe. T 
T-I-T-H-E. Ah. How many of us have been taught in our churches and our different groups that tithe helps you to secure favor with God? Even those who have taught about tithe just preach about it because there are bills that need to be paid and they say you need to pay your tithe. If you don't pay your tithe, you don't pay your tithe and see whether God will bless you. And you see the anger with which the man is preaching and God tells you, please, please. Every church, every ministry, their prosperity is dependent on their own obedience to the principles of the kingdom. My prosperity as a minister of the gospel is not dependent on koinonia people. Ah, that would have been a terrible way to live. I would have been frowning at you for every week. What did you drop last week? You know? There are many men of God who are burdens to their congregations because they do not realize that their prosperity is tied to their own personal obedience. Can I be sincere with you? Many men of God don't tithe. Hallelujah. Many men of God don't tithe. They teach tithing. Do you know how long it took me as a man of God to be consistent in tithing? I want to be sincere with you. You know I fear God and I honor God. When I saw how difficult it was to tithe with all the fear that I had for God, I said, man, that means many people, somebody is lying somewhere in this equation. It takes the giving grace to come upon your life. One, two, it takes you designing a system to make your tithing efficient. Are you getting my point? You don't tithe just, no, no, no. no. The first thing I want you to understand about tithing is that tithing is not a debt you are paying. Many people come before God with tithe. Help me with one, one of these envelopes. And they, they bring the tithe. Thank you. Don't worry. They bring the tithe and they just stand frowning. Okay, God, please, so you will not harass me. Take. And once they pray, they say it's blessed. The way you just drop this in the offering basket. Your tithe secures favor with God. You want to be on God's side, brothers and sisters. Not being on God's side is disastrous. It's not just about finances. There is a spirit called the devourer. It is alive and active in the earth. Hallelujah. I must talk about this. Your tithe is not the payment of a debt. Because everything we owe belongs to God. Your tithe is an acknowledgement. It's a documentation of your gratitude. You're saying, Lord, in obedience to you and for your faithfulness, I bring 10%. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Let me kneel down. Look at me. I'm kneeling down. Snap me so that you'll see it on, on the... Don't, I'm dummy with your phone. I'm pleading with you in the name of the Lord God. If you love God, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be consistent in your time. See, I'm getting down on my knees and I'm begging you. Ah, you've been snapping, no? Joe. <laughs> okay, let me just hands up so that you know that I'm nearly down. Be faithful. Don't think tithing is a gimmick by a preacher. I can tell you this. Ask the financial department. By the grace of God as a ministry, we do not owe God one night. I don't care what collection is made for what. The tithe of God. Before anything happens. You really think we are running this ministry from. The, look you know what you are dropping in the offering basket. At least you don't know your neighbor's own. You know your own. You can't run ministry with things people are throwing. No. There is a mystery of divine supply. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You must believe this. I was sharing some of the testimonies with Pastor Williams. Benefits of tithing. I remember one time we were just praying and, and trusting God. There were things here and there to, 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 to get and all of that. And we were just saying, oh Lord, we thank you because we are tithers, we are faithful. Till today, I was sharing with you, Pastor. Till today, we do not know the person. We just got an alert. 1.5 million by an unknown person we do not know into the ministry accounts. 
Whereas that's somebody's neighbor, somebody who is collecting 50,000, how much is his salary? That calculate it for more than one year for being faithful in time. I think I was talking to the protocol department. They went to purchase something in Abuja and then I was talking to them. The mixer. We just got a better mixer, very good one. And then I, I was talking to them. I think it was someone on my birthday. Pastor. Someone just, right? Yes. And the person just said, ah, they just paid some money for their family that they were hoping, you know, 3.4 million naira and the person just said oh well thank god for all the words you are speaking the things you are teaching us and was just sending the tithe and all of that let me tell you when you see what we are doing because i know many of you sit and wonder how do these people really get money yes god is faithful but what is the one plus one of it let me tell you the one plus one of it is what i'm teaching you here the tithe if you are not a faithful tither, God is not authorized to bless you. Stop wasting your time in praying and fasting for wealth. If you are not a tither, I want you to know the devourer will stand and stare at your face. If you like, put a Bible on your head. Prayer is not the seed for financial breakthrough. Prayer is the seed for fellowship with the spirit and spiritual awakening and the presence of God and activating the anointing, not prosperity. Your time, your giving are the seeds for increase. Many people who want to be blessed will argue this thing. And you ask the person, how much do you have? How much has entered your hand that you are arguing? You are saying it's not correct. It's a terrible thing when you don't have results and you are still arguing. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. When you pay your tithe, you're securing favor with God. Please and please and please teach this to anyone you love and make up your mind from today. Your tithe is a tenth portion, one tenth of your income that secures open heavens, favor with God. Tithe because it guarantees God's continuous favor in your life. Oh, I don't want to be outside of the favor of God. It's dangerous. It's a risky position. It's like being face to face with a lion. Imagine how many devils of darkness will want on their own to destroy my life. I found a place of refuge. I found a way of walking under an open heavens. Do you know the wickedness? The arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Do you know how many people want to see your downfall? If there is no spiritual way of keeping yourself standing, you will fall like a leaf. Are you getting what I'm saying? How many people use all their monies for sickness? All their monies for no, no open heavens. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I make up my mind to be faithful in tithing. Say it again in the name of Jesus. See, the truth is many of us are not consistent. Our tithing life is up, down, up, down. That's why today it looks like some doors of favor open up. And then tomorrow, it's not God's fault. J.C. Penny, many of you have heard about him. J.C. Penny, one of the multi-billionaires who love God. He was tithing and at a point something happened and he said he wanted to experiment with God. He stopped tithing. That was how his business just knows died like that to a point that he was almost crashing. And he said, wow. And he started tithing. And that was how he, he got himself back. You better believe what I'm telling you. Many of our parents do not tithe from their salaries. They are collecting 150,000, yet they cannot afford 5,000. You ask them for 5,000, they will almost kill you. 
because a devourer has eaten everything. In one day, two tires just patch, and all the money has gone. Just when you are coming, something happens. Arrows that fly by day. And they now look and they say, sorry, you need, you need this and that. You will be spent and all the money goes. Then the moment the money goes, the person gets well by himself. The devourer. And you are praying and fasting and conducting night vigils and running around your parlor in the night rather than obedience that is better than sacrifice. Many of us can prefer to run marathon prayers from 11 to 6 to try to solve something that faithfulness in tithing. Many of our fathers have brought predicaments upon the family because they are not faithful in time. A solid building, a solid structure, small rain just comes and washes everything just when they wanted to finish the thing. Back to square one. There are even those that physical money disappears. Have you had that story? Somebody keeps one million, he comes back and finds 780,000. Someone came for counseling. I've never had that thing. The woman said rats eat her money. No, serious. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking at all. Rats. You come in the morning and you see pieces of what sort of devil tithe. I think it was either Paul Lynch or, or, or Bishop David Oedeko that shared something that some armed robbers came and they were going to, I think, um, destroy a woman or capture one family and the woman shouted she took her tight booklet lifted it up and dropped it on the ground and said God watch the people match this booklet and come and touch me at once confusion came on the people they were afraid and that was how they left brothers and sisters what you do not believe will not work for you oh I believe the word of God I'm that minister of the gospel that believes every word of Jesus. Are you getting blessed? Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let's finish up on the issue of tithe very quickly. Leviticus 27 verse 30. Let me show you how the devil has been cheating many of us. Tithe heals you from greed. Everyone, let's read. One to read. Is the Lord's and it is holy unto God. So when I take my tithe, I say, Lord, I'm documenting my gratitude. I honor you. I thank you. How many of our parents receive some money? Maybe one money that is spending, it just comes in. Seven million. And they just calculate use calculator 700,000 me go and give that man of God I'm not stupid Abba 700,000 and you see the person arguing and within three weeks he has spent over one million naira on his health and robbers will come and put a gun and say we saw through the jazz that we use that there's seven million in this I say no it's only four no, now slap you say truly it's, it's seven where is it he say that's it here take it take it and preserve my life whereas the tithe of it. Have you seen how many of our family members put us in trouble? I say this, many of us keep wondering, why is my father working? Why is my mother working? The truth is that they are all working. They've never been driven from job, but not even a house to build. The mysteries of the kingdom. There is no favor. The heavens are closed. So many believers operating under close heaven. There are many ministries. They are so tight. No supplies. They beg for everything. Squeeze people. Put people, workers and all of that. Under every kind of pressure. Because the man of God is not tithing. The people are not tithing. The ministry is not tithing. Dr. Mike Mudok was sharing and he said there was a time. The finance of his ministry was going down. He was going down so bad and he checked and then he called the finance department. He said something is wrong. We are not doing something right. What is wrong? Hallelujah. And the financial secretary said, well sir, um, for about three months now we've not been paying tight because the bills are enormous and honestly if we are to pay tight you may, we may shut you down from TV and all of that. And my brother said because of that you stop paying the tithe. That means we are going to crash to zero. 
the day we stop paying tithe as a ministry I give you one to two months it will never happen that's why I have the confidence to say it maybe one day you come and you just see no fuel for generator or no chairs ah no as surely as the God of heaven lives we have created a system that does not depend on our personal emotions again is someone learning something is your heavens open pastor is your heaven open over your family there are many people who do not tithe they pay school fees 250 naira the, the child brilliant boy is coming back with one dull result zero 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 thirty nine forty one that's the average what is happening all kinds of witchcraft activities flying freely because the heavens are closed are you getting blessed with what I'm saying you want to secure favor with God you must be faithful we've not talked about favor with men no. and that's really where I want to dwell tonight that's why I'm rushing I'm not teaching on finances so I'll stop here for you. we're going to pray just in one minute before we continue many of us need to repent because the financial stress in our family is not because of the job it's not it's not because they didn't promote your father I'm telling you the truth if we don't take responsibility we will keep giving it's easy to blame people for our financial predicament are you getting my point it's so easy if that they promoted me I would have been collecting 200,000 now instead of 150 my life would have been better so wrong so wrong you collect 1 million under a closed heaven and you will see the way the devil will make a caricature of your life lift up your voice in one minute and say Lord I repent be sincere with yourself some of us need to pray on behalf of our families please be sincere Lord I've not been faithful tithing I don't know what it is oh God but I find out that it's so hard I've not had the revelation I'm not yet convinced I think it's a gimmick by a man of God or a ministry I think it's just a gimmick koinonia is trying to squeeze out money from me no go ahead and pray because there are many of us no matter how many miracle services you come I'm telling you the heavens are closed the heavens are closed there is no favor with God that's why the doors that were open before they are not even open again be sincere with yourself there were strange manifestations of favor from God they are not even there again your shop that used to sell nothing is selling again because you think you don't tithe for your business now the heavens are closed look at many of our parents you buy a new gadget you bring the machine everything breaks down this is the devourer brothers and sisters let's take responsibility tonight and say lord we cry for help the finance of families are finished because of paying for drugs and sicknesses paying for damaged cars paying for all kinds of things pray and say lord i want your favor from tonight i repent i receive the giving grace to be a delight some tighter i realize that this is the key i don't care who you are i don't care what you read i don't care what your level of anointing is i don't care how hardened your heart is if you want to experience favor with god I'm telling you one of the keys is you must be a consistent tighter. You must design a system around your life. If there are needs in your life, that's the more, that's, that's the more reason to tie. Don't say the needs are too much. Man of God is because you don't know. I have so much needs. I must do this and that. Tight your way out of that trouble tight your way out of that trouble eating your tight will only get you deeper i promise you you can apply every business principle you know fail to tight i 
and watch the devourer scatter your life and your family but you be faithful towards tithing and watch God turn any situation around it doesn't take time commit God into your life anything God is involved in must succeed many of us God is not committed in the affairs of our lives I don't want to know what you are going through now tight your way out of it secure the favor of the Almighty hallelujah praise the Lord please let me challenge you create a system if you do internet banking you can have the account details of the ministry or whatever or if it is here you tight the, the, the ministry's account details are available to it. if you do internet banking transfer it immediately otherwise buy envelopes buy envelopes I always have a stash of envelopes praise God the treasurer is here we created a system I don't even see the tithe as it is counted we take it and 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 sow it to the appropriate ministry brothers and sisters please listen to me are you not tired of what you have seen your loved ones go through didn't they go to school didn't they get all the degrees look at everything see how helpless people are because they know not neither will they understand and the bible says they grow in darkness and the earth is out of course let's finish the last part how do you activate and secure favor with men i must talk about this spoke about three things right now to secure favor with god that number one you must have the fear of god the fear of the lord number two you must have faith in god you must trust him number three you must be a consistent titan but when it comes to finding favor with men the rule is different if you have been sleeping this is the time to wake up I believe with all my heart that your destiny depends on this revelation I'm sharing tonight Daniel chapter 1 open our eyes oh God Daniel chapter 1 help us grant us grace someone is walking in undeniable realms of favor after today in the name of Jesus Christ I want to share with you something very powerful how do you secure favor with men in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim king of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon unto Jerusalem and besieged it verse 2 and the Lord gave Jehoiakim king of Judah into his hands with part of the vessels of the house of God which he carried into the land of China to the house of his God and he brought the vessels into the treasure of his God verse 3 and the king listen now spake unto Ashpenaz the master of the eunuchs that he should bring certain of the children of Israel so the king is inviting some people to stand before the king hallelujah and the kings and of the king's seed and of the princes verse 4 everyone read one two read children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability take note in them to stand in the king's palace it takes an ability are you seeing that he said those who have what ability to stand in the king's palace and who if he had no ability to solve problems i say this all the time and some of us neglect it write that word down ability ability this is your key to finding favor with men and entering the realm of greatness gender notwithstanding 
Background, notwithstanding. Age, notwithstanding. Nationality, notwithstanding. Hallelujah. Until you solve a problem, you remain insignificant and unnoticed. If you are not providing solution, brothers and sisters, nobody needs you. The world is so desperate for solutions, they will only run towards the direction of those who are solving problems. The greater problems you solve, the greater you become magnetic. Please understand this. If you think you will, people will invite you into their presence just because they like you or because you are a Christian, you are dreaming. Wake up. Hello? <laughs> you know, many of us have this funny understanding that because I'm serving God, one day, great men will call me. Start reading your Bible very carefully and you will find out that no great man appeared before the king just like that. There was an ability that qualified him to stand before the king. I have a question. What will qualify you to stand before men who can honor you and bring you into greatness? Are you getting my point? The reason why you may be insignificant as you think is because your ability has not brought you to a position of notoriety. Please hear, hear what I'm saying. All men are equal, but their graces and abilities separate them and make certain things possible for others. Your ability, that anointing, that skill, that grace, that gift is what you will use to access favor with men there are people today by the grace of God who have come to see me and I know that if not for the grace of God there is nothing I will have in exchange for the level of the honor of those people not at this level of my life are you getting what I'm saying there are offices and places that I access today and bump into those people and I know the level of great men in themselves who cannot access those offices the gift of a man can make room for him and bring him before great men your gift can add to your age your gift can qualify you where you do not qualify and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. We must understand this. Then I will show you how God lifts people in the kingdom. Say in the name of Jesus, I have an ability that will bring me before great men. Say one more time. In the name of Jesus, I have an anointing. I have grace. I have an ability that will bring me before great men. I have entered places today that my father may never enter, perhaps. I have entered places today that with all humility, my contemporaries maybe may never enter their lifetime. Because of the gift of God. I am. Look, when you possess this ability, they told Jesus, they said, all men seek for thee. All men, they will pay you for it. They will pay you in millions and think it's a privilege that they are honoring you. And you will be surprised. You're wondering, my goodness, but there is an ability. And because they need it, they will look for you. There are 7 billion people in the earth. But more than 90% of those people are looking for solutions. 
That's big business, brother. If you can become a solution provider, you become magnetic. See the darkness in Nigeria. Look, let me tell you. If you have a ministry that spits saliva on people's face and they get healed, spit it on 20 people and let them get healed and you will see the level of intelligent people who will come and stand for days waiting to be healed. Many of us do not know the level of darkness that is upon the earth. Please listen. The Spirit of God is moving in this place right now because I, I want to share something very powerful. There is an anointing you have that can bail you forever. There is an anointing. The ability that makes you to stand before kings. You will not be the one looking for them. The Gentiles will come not to you, to your light. That's what they want, not you. If you think people come because they like you, there are many people who come for Koinonia not because they like me. You will be amazed to see how many people came to Jesus. King of the Jews, you are this and that. When it looked like Jesus' ministry was nose diving, they say, I beg, crucify him, let his blood even be upon our head. Please listen, let me just advise you. If you think you have a crowd or people love you because of you, there are very few people in your lifetime who will love you because of your personality. Many people will love you because of what you carry. Are you getting my point? See, Baba, Baba. there is this treasure in earthen vessels. So that you will end some things in your life. I will never be a failure in this life forever. I know it. I know it. Rich men have problems that I can solve. Ah, yes. Yes. Great men have problems that I can solve. I cannot solve every problem. But brothers and sisters, there are problems I can solve. Now, watch this. Let me explain to you the equation, what I call the equation of greatness. You will be so blessed. Just give me a few minutes and we'll pray now. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 1. Media, project it. I love the Lord. When I did this study, my heart dropped. I said, oh God, I'm sorry for all the times that I kept blaming you for so many things. Ecclesiastes 9. Eleven, verse eleven. Did I say one? Eleven, please. Verse eleven. Everybody, please read. I returned and saw under the that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding nor yet favor to men of skill this is the mystery we're about to discuss now everybody read it but time and chance i want to show you the mystery of greatness listen repeat this last clause again one to go time one more time but time and chance happens to who how many everybody now replace the word chance where are we now Okay, but time and chance. Replace the word chance with opportunity. Are you ready now? One to read. I want you to replace the word time with the word seasons. Are you ready now? One to read. But seasons and opportunities happen to them all. But seasons. Like the hand of a clock. It has been designed by the sovereign act of God that for every man upon the surface of the earth there is the turning of the hand of the clock and that one day time and opportunity will always happen to them. Ah. Holy Spirit. Time and chance. The 
did the bible say it happens to some happens to everybody that means there is a guarantee please listen somebody's deliverance is coming there is a guarantee based on the word of god that a day must come if god is god where time and chance you know how they do cooperative society five of us bring twenty twenty thousand it's now your own turn it's now your own turn and i start smiling although it's not my turn because i know that my turn is coming for sure and the bible says time and chance so in the equation of greatness we are bringing the constant factors and then we work on the variables we are doing a little mathematics here are you getting my point it says time and chance this one no devil can stop it no herbal is from your village you don't need to pray about it he said time if you are under the sun time and chance happened to them ah i show you a mystery ah so time that means a time will come in my life whether i'm prepared or not whether i pray for it or not whether i fast for it or not a time will come where the hand of god will navigate opportunities whether i see it or not is irrelevant god's justice must be done therefore the bible for once us is a redeeming the time now that you know that a day will come this is where a lot of people miss it we keep focusing on looking at the day the bible says it will come remove that in the equation of your preparation for greatness and begin to focus on taking advantage of that day it will come the equation of greatness let's look at um okay greatness therefore in the kingdom comes by number one god margin seasons and opportunities together and then number two you finding favor by securing that opportunity i'm going to explain myself let me have somebody please okay Aaron, come hallelujah watch this let's assume this is spiritual timing and according to god's justice system okay stand here aaron is that this time is going to keep moving are you seeing it now and that a day will come it may take a long time but that a day is going to come when it will come to aaron and if aaron misses on that opportunity it will keep moving again are you getting what i'm saying that's why if god wants to help you in life he restores yes not what you lost yes he tries to bring back the time so that the mistake you made you can remedy it he never said i will restore the goods because they are not necessary once there is time and those seasons is somebody understanding what i'm saying now the problem with the body of Christ is that we all sit down being distracted at looking at the clock and waiting for the day it gets to our turn rather than getting busy to sharpen that ability so that the day the time comes you will enter the presence of greatness once and never come out again forever. Every man in the scripture that became great waited for that kairos moment joseph was in the prison but he knew there is an ability to interpret dreams it's only a matter of time the brother sold him he said no problem pharaoh's wife lied that he wanted to rape her no problem they threw him in the prison but when the season comes that part of the equation is god that starts moving that's favor with god are you seeing that now god made it in such a way that the wine presser had to do something wrong to go to the prison so while he was in the prison the divine transaction started happening and the wine presser came out 
although the one presser forgot about him but a day came let me tell you it does not take two days for you to enter greatness read the bible it always happened in one day there is always a day called one day he said john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there is, john was sharpening himself in the wilderness when the season came he came out and he completed his assignment one time jesus for 30 years was preparing for a season of three years 30 years read all the books knew all the law did everything and there was flawless victory within three and a half years so there are many of us sitting down looking at people's cars and say man i like this jeep goodness ah bmw this and that ford explorer 2014 limited edition look at that foolishness we are there claiming i claim it time and chance your turn is soon coming create an urgency sharpen the knife sharpen the anointing sharpen the healing anointing one day see let me tell you you may say there are many people the bible says in israel there were many widows but to none was the prophet sent god will send people specifically to you ah, and when you take advantage of that season that is it you are open to a dimension of grace i have studied almost every great ministry i admire and i found out that in the history of that ministry something always happened something happened at the kairos season and the men plunged into it with revelation and boom never to return again are you are you getting what i'm sharing with you ah i feel the anointing of the spirit if you sit down and you are wondering kai this house one day we are coming when will this come no 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 you never see me bother you insult yourself when you do that many young people here our dream is car right car let me buy car and you are trying to save how much can you save for the car you want i'm teaching you a higher law get out of all those 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 ways of frustration and misery that's why many people cannot give god glory they suffer for everything in their life come and adopt the kingdom's way there is a higher dimension there is a higher way believe me look let me tell you i'm a businessman i've read many business books so don't you think i'm just talking nonsense i know what i'm saying hallelujah when that kairos moment comes in your life when it comes in your ministry some people are snoring through the night the time will pass they wake up and an opportunity that took 10 years has just passed before it will come back again the first son is graduating from the university he has not learned his lesson after 25 years it comes again prophecy comes in the name of jesus let restoration happen and by the mercy of god the time is reversed it comes again the same lack of preparation keeps bringing people down are you seeing why it takes more than receive it to walk in this realm you would thank me in the future for what i'm teaching you i'm teaching you the way to a superior life so that you stop blaming your parents and say if my father only accepted this job stupid man would have been out of this thing uh -uh, leave your father alone god is bringing you to a point i don't care what degree you graduated with i don't care there is a problem listen if you solve a millionaire's problem you have access to his millions it's as simple as that never be a failure in this life never so every time i spend in prayer i'm sharpening my giftings for that day a day will come when that season comes god will send a great man who can sow a seed of 100 million naira to koinonia the person will be dying of tuberculosis or something it's like that that's how it works 
there is always something you can exchange for and God will make it in such a way that on the day he's coming somebody will be bringing koinonia messages that one is God's part of the equation while that is happening I'm praying in the secret place Shekata baba baba. Rakata bada. greater wisdom oh God you can sleep in the night and not know that that is the last time you will sleep in that realm Hi. if Joseph knew if Joseph knew all the people in the prison would have cleaned his shoe and said oh God, it is within your bail me imagine the guy that bought Joseph when he was shaving Joseph little did he know he would have earned himself a position forever imagine those who were with the pre in the prison with Obas and Joe, the night he would come out if they had known that he would just come out never to return they would have said Augusta let's pray father bless this man so that at least he will remember them beware of people that you keep mocking and say you are not this you can't speak English very well you can't do this and that and that beware let me tell you you know why because if you are not if you don't take time please look at me let's just focus God is just doing his thing if if you are if you don't pay attention can I tell you the truth? A day will come. You will find out that the same person you saw today. You looked at her. said, Mary, what is there? You will open an office that you feel from for two weeks. There are people today who are angry with me. They are angry with me because there were times when we could access one another. And at those times, they could say a lot of things. Call me when they wanted. But I was doing something they were not doing. We were all laughing and joking. And today, because of the difficulty in reaching me, they pick offense. It's not my fault. I refuse to remain at that level. I intend to grow. Be nice to people today. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, for those of you who look at people in Koinonia, and when we say greet one another, you just turn. You don't know who you are turning. Time and chance. It may come from a poor family. He may have one ton sandals. But let me tell you, time, the word you are hearing is sharpening you for that time. A day will come. There is something God has put in you. This is the justice of God. This is why every man can be great. Time and chance happens to them all. The day it happened to our parents, they were not prepared. They were there talking about others, criticizing others and the clock passed and it went to one drunkard who just got born again and saw the time took advantage of it and they said ah, is this not the boy on campus that was drinking he was drinking but he did something with his opportunity now he's a billionaire he's a pastor he's advancing the kingdom let me tell you something that happened in 2008 i believe I was in Accra for a retreat and something happened. Hallelujah. No, I think 2007 or so. I was in Accra for a retreat praying and seeking the face of God for the things that he was going to do. And while I was praying, my money had finished. I had nothing, not even to eat. Not even to pay for the hotel where I was having the retreat for that night. I finished praying. I was reading a book within the gates. It's a divine revelation book. When I read it, the spirit of God just told me stroll around. And I came out. I started strolling. I was walking like a fool. Time and chance. I want to share with you testimonies now. The Holy Ghost just said, just keep walking. I was walking like a fool. I didn't know where I was going. Up to 25 minutes, I was just walking. The next thing I saw a signboard. Welcome to Accra City Campus. And the Holy Ghost said, enter. Immediately I entered. The first person I'll meet is the SRC president. And the guy, listen, the guy looked at me. And the moment he looked at me, he said, how are you, sir? When he shook me, he just took his hand. He said, Jesus. He said, can you come to my office? Miracle number one. Listen, listen. True story. I want to tell you I know what I'm saying. I'm not just making noise. When this guy brought me to the office, we didn't speak more than five minutes. He started shaking. Time and chance. And they ordered a meal. I first ate the meal. And then we attended their fellowship. I sat down quietly. After they attended, their, just like the campus has Friday fellowship. When they finished, I went to his office. Watch this. The moment 
I started talking. I started talking at about two four. We rounded up that meeting past nine. When we started talking, the university esco started coming to the office one by one. They would come. This one would fall under the anointing and remain there. It was in that place I inaugurated the prayer group that prayed for the campus in Accra. In that Accra city campus. On that day, I'm still in touch with that gentleman. Again, his life changed. There was, they have their prophets like their, maybe what you would call an FCS president. Yes, after the, the, the president would finish, he invited me again to Accra and I went to minister in a program. And it was a powerful and explosive program. I was even on radio. The radio and they did an interview. I think that was when we traveled with Bala, Alex and a team of other people. Listen, that's not the whole story. When I finished that night, the people came together past night. They raised an offering of maybe equivalent in Naira now of maybe 30,000. And they gave me I didn't even know how to find my way back they directed me i found my way paid for that night and i ate a very good meal i said it works i remember in the room i was screaming i said come on not it has equal value in any land you don't need to know nobody all this godfather nonsense let me tell you get out of it right now if god is on your side there is nothing nothing you cannot get listen the night I was supposed to leave, those guys started crying because they would come and visit me in my hotel. It was within three or four days, their lives changed. They said, what sort of person? I taught them on the kingdom. It was an unusual open heavens. So the last day they invited me again, I prayed with them, strengthened all the people, you know, blessed them. They had impartations and all of that. And they raised me money again. An equivalent of maybe say 50,000 and then I returned back who would have helped me I don't have any uncle but the gift of a man the time and chance is God's own equation leave it for him God is speaking to someone tonight you have been crying and say Lord when will it come God said forget about the issue of when are you prepared are you seeing that God delaying seasons is an act of his love that thing you have been calling delay you are not prepared if it had come before this message you would have blown it only for it to come back 10 years you open a shop nobody's coming god is saying uh -uh, i don't want you to miss be careful what you call delay some things may be the hand of god your job you didn't get the job god said i i don't want you to struggle there is something you can know you go for a job in four months you have become one of the executives it does not take time if you can solve the problem you will rise to the top. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait. But while I wait, I will sharpen the knife. I will pray in tongues. While I wait, I will keep studying the word. I know I'm going to stand before kings. I must have contents to give them. I won't talk like I'm talking before weak men. I will stand before presidents. A day will come. It will be a privilege to air koinonia. A day will come. We will not just have one or two TV stations. There will be many. One billionaire can sponsor it for years. But while that time comes, we will pray. We will fast. We will travel. Let them call you a fool because there is no car. What is car? See, a man came to Mike Murdoch because of something that he did. He was begging Mike Murdoch to buy a car for him. Mike Murdoch said, I don't need it. He said, I, I entered a covenant with God that every year till you die, I will be buying you the latest Benz car. One day I was passing around Abuja and I saw all the mighty houses they were building around my Tama. And the Holy Ghost told me, do you know how many of your houses are here? No, I'm serious. God told me, he said, you will only build in life just for the formality, the gift of a man. The owner of that building will need me one day. Darkness is a mystery that announces light. The world will be too dark. One day, they will need the anointing. They will need it. I'm telling you, many of you have not been respecting what you carry. I know what I carry. 
I know what I carry is an anointing of the spirit. The nations can never, 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 they can never deny the effect. They may not like me, but there is an anointing. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, I'm fasting, I may be lean, I may so carry, but there is an anointing. My father could not enter, but there is an anointing. There is wisdom. There is the gift of God. And I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. There is a price to pay. I don't blame anybody. Left now is to sharpen my ability. Higher. I may not speak the kind of English you want, but when I say it, an anointing will leave. You can deny my English, but you cannot deny the anointing. There is something. See, this is what I'm training you to become. There is a sharpening. You may not see it now. The world will need you. You will collect a salary of maybe 100,000, but your boss will sow a seed of 5 million to get out of trouble. Your ability, listen, we are soon going to pray. Your ability to maximize the moment opens you up to untold realms of greatness. Look at me. Aaron is here. Let me share with you his testimony. Permit me Aaron a bit. For years, many of you know how skilled Aaron is. For years, the kind of job he was trusting God for would not come. I know times when things will get a bit painful for him. And we kept encouraging. He will be listening to the word of God. But time and chance. A season just came, brothers and sisters. Supernaturally, he got a job too. He got connected with the deputy governor of Kaduna State. Within how many months, Aaron? That they, within two months, they moved him to go and head a unit in Joss. Now he heads a unit in Joss. And we're only counting. See, I think there's one of our ladies here. Two of our ladies that I know. The moment they graduated, they've not even served. They just call them to get jobs. You may not value what you are receiving. Don't let anybody fool you and make you think you are wasting your time a day will come the price you are paying now is what your colleagues will be paying in the future you are already paying it now you may look like a fool some of you as you are going back home now they will insult you and say we are not seeing the fruit it does not yet appear but time and chance will reveal that i'm not praying in tongues for nothing hallelujah this year let me give you the last story and then we'll pray. This year, I was in Ibadan. We, were, we all went to Ibadan. And when we went, they lodged us in one of the best hotels there. And it was Yerima, Victor, and um, Sam. They sent me a text in the afternoon. They said, we are swimming and we are enjoying. And then I looked through my window. They were playing table tennis. They were swimming. You know, they were enjoying themselves all snapping and enjoying and i looked and then i remembered the story that same hotel listen in 2007 i went to that same hotel for something but i could not pay for any room because it was very expensive listen to me i still had the anointing but time and season had not come i went there i still saw the arrangement i sat down there there's the reception there brothers and sisters i was looking for a place around that vicinity where they were doing night vigil it was a friday night so i will attend the night vigil because i had no money if i touch anything i will not have my transport back are you hearing what i'm saying that same hotel somebody would have looked at me and said oh what failure Hiya. mistake big mistake you don't need to respond to those who think you are failures because you went to the board and you saw five carryovers and the devil says see tell him no you see just keep watching time 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 yes you may have an extra year write it and move and thank god because in that extra year you are still moving ahead 
see if a plane is moving forward even if you go back to the restroom you are still moving forward because the plane carrying you is moving forward I stayed that night till morning no bathing no nothing and a few years later there is a protocol of people together with the wife of the police commissioner of the state we came and we sat with this woman we are still going back I think some sometime towards the year we are still going back to our place again this woman was astonished the things that God did in, in Ibadan was amazing the woman followed us to our hotel room and we kept talking till almost I think to 12 or past 12 and she brought she said she must show her husband her husband is one of the top police people praise God and she they recorded everything me prophesying and praying for her and she said she must meet her husband and she just brought out a check I think a check of 30,000 or something she said sorry you man of God this is small but can you take this I said oh Lord time and chance it's not like I prayed more I just kept doing what I was doing it when when your season comes the same thing you did that did not produce result will now produce amazing results there are miracles that happen in koinonia here that if we were on air people will already start traveling but time and chance don't worry a day will come stop trying to announce yourself there are many people on air getting millions of naira they don't have up to half of sam's anointing continue what you are doing time and chance a day will come god will arrange your destiny help us in front then they will give you 10 minutes to lead prayers that's the day god will announce you in 10 minutes what the spirit of god will do you will have more than 20 invitations come for our conference come for this you are reading business books you are preparing yourself it looks like you're a fool there's nothing working no office only knowledge people even call you big head don't worry a day will come unto none of the widows was was um was elijah how did he put it now was the prophet sent except that widow of Zarafa. but the question god is asking you tonight before we pray when the season comes when the season comes are you sharpened enough to make that your last season in that realm will you make the words of your critics become a self-fulfilling prophecy or will you contend they may be seeing the brother and sister praying and they say hey, you will know what you are doing don't worry you don't need to answer anybody just keep praying seasons a day came we were doing this same thing but it was at the back of chapel no facebook to capture the picture and show the world that there is the hand of god upon these people but a day will come so i stopped focusing about cars nonsense house no leave all those things from today i'm teaching you when you sit with friends and they say oh boy when now when will our level change just know that they are wasting your time time and chance it never announces to you that the day is coming you will just sleep in the prison one night and by the second night you are in a palace you cannot account for what brought me here oh i believe it for somebody i believe it for somebody let me bring a word for somebody you may be going through certain things you are killing the lion in the secret nobody knows you are killing the bear nobody knows a day will come god will put you in front of goliath and it will be in the presence of all israel on that day saul will know that there is a david some of you have anointings today that if it's to be revealed the world will run away don't look for premature manifestation let me tell you service is the best way to train yourself and sharpen yourself you see all these things people say i won't play keyboard till they pay me you are being foolish you can serve now and they give you prayers and you make blunders at least the mistake was made in jerusalem before you now get to judea and samaria 
and make blunders there make the mistake here sing and go off key here we will laugh at you alone and we'll tap your back there are mistakes that great men don't make in the open no make it here make it here sharpen that knife who is god speaking to tonight because i sense in my spirit that we are at the edge i cannot tell you trust me i'm not speaking nonsense i know it in my spirit i've been telling you this for days i have been fasting and preparing for these seasons i have i have picked the signal that believers in this side of god's kingdom there is a dimension of there is a shofar that will blow in this season and let me tell you warriors will arise this i call it the zaria experience we will reproduce this thing in this country many people do not know what god is doing in this side of the kingdom you just finish your school wear your convocation gown or sit back a day will come god will say your season in zaria is over it's time to move like arrows like arrows in a man's quiver he will send you you will wreak havoc across the seven mountains that day will come pay the price now forget the name you don't need to be called an apostle or pastor or prophet it's irrelevant settle down hallelujah that's why see listen let me tell you one secret about my life i shared it with the school of ministry students you never see me in broad daylight just roaming around foolishly no if you see me around there was something to do you never that you are walking on the street you just see me jumping around and say eh, corn or maize which one is hot no I'm preparing for such an extraordinary life I want my life to match the visions that I've seen in the spirit call me apostle thank God for the healings I won't be deceived I want to carry the word of the Lord with such a razor sharp accuracy so I will stay in the presence I will fast I will pray let me be lean today no problem it doesn't kill it doesn't kill prayer doesn't kill don't be a fool the suffering of the future is what kills the price today doesn't kill there's no job instead of praying and lamenting be preparing and say i know a job will come the day they do that interview they won't just give it job they will promote me at once because they will say where have you been rise up on your feet my spirit is fired up please jump up on your feet I like you to begin to blast in tongues instrumentalists come up everybody come on from the depth of your spirit do it for your future time and chance happens to you a day will come your season of appearing your season of appearing don't be tired don't be tired man of God don't be tired woman of God don't be tired prophet of God don't be tired, prophet of God. Don't be tired. apostle of God don't be tired keep pressing Sharpen the anointing, sharpen the skill, sharpen the gift. Oh, break it, take the book of 
my season of appearing is coming they may victimize me today but time and chance time and chance time and chance Hallelujah. 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 The next prayer point. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive the capacity to build. Listen. If you can't just pair yourselves into two, find a brother or sister that is ready to pray and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to build to sharpen that ability as I wait for that day. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Shake a poco to break a day. Shake a poco to break a day. The day will come. The day will come. Reporto prekete kete mosha, embrakata baba ba, roboto poko sose kete, lekete, reposko prekete, and your new capacity, pay the price now. Oproto kosho sose kete, rekete kete poko to prekete bara daros, reporto to pos, makata poko to poko to, reporto poko Prepare for the seasons. Prepare for the opportunities. They will come. They will come. They will come. They will come. Prepare for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And thou will increase my grace and comfort me on every side. Listen. Listen. The third prayer point. You are going to attack every spirit, listen, of premature manifestation and distraction. Many of us want to be known. It's not fair. I'm anointed. Give me prayers to pray. I'm anointed. Put me on the stage. Nonsense. Stephen remained here serving tables. But the anointing was too much for tables. You are going to pray. Listen. There are many of us. You cannot delay gratification. You want to buy the shoe now. You want to buy everything now. You see people standing. And you say I must buy this kind of shoe. I must buy this kind of watch. Oh, glory. The word is working. You better keep quiet and pray. Prepare for the season. Read the books. Read books on fatherhood. Read books on leadership. Read books on ministry. Sharpen yourself. When you are tired and it's 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, time to pray. When you are tired, remember your destiny drag yourself up i'm tired it's true that i'm tired but for the sake of my destiny 
I do it to correct the errors of the fathers I do it to correct the limitations of my family hallelujah 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 listen anytime you see a nice jeep go and get a book and read that's how to that's how to claim it after you speak and say in the name of jesus but prepare knowing that there is something you can have that will bring it to you a day will come when god permits us and we start translating koinonia messages to books i tell you some of them will be bestsellers but until that time comes let's keep preaching the cutting edge messages hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done listen immediately we play these two prayer points there are people here who need to surrender totally to jesus the moment we pray those two prayer points as we round up the last one i just want you to come out here quickly because this is serious business i don't need to cajole you you need to surrender your heart that you want to say lord truly everything so make sure when that time comes we're going to pray we're going to pray this prayer point hallelujah and you're going to say lord all the resources all the materials all the components i need to expose myself to in preparation for that season bring them to me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray all the training all the books all the papers all the catering schools, all the fashion schools, all the business schools, all the business schools, all the ministry training, all the degrees you need to get. All the qualifications, all the leadership traits that you need for this new season that is coming, receive grace, pay the price, find the truth. Hallelujah. So, sister, rather than praying and say, There's no husband, why don't you sharpen yourself and say, The man that talks to me will know he spoke to a treasure. When you are going around doing all kinds of nonsense, there's no man coming. This koinonia brother said they are not seen. Why don't you sharpen yourself? Brothers, rather than sitting now, all these ladies don't like me. Are you serious? What are you doing for your future? Show me the investments you are making to be an extraordinary man. Last prayer point. Lord Jesus, hold my hands in this destiny and take me until I become great. Lift your voice and pray. Hold my hands. Hold my hands through the rain, through the storm. Lord, when I want to give up, encourage me. When the pressure gets too much, let me hear the voice of the Spirit. Hold my hand. The hand of the Rubabel that began this war. That same hand. That same hand. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. 
When I'm almost giving up, hold my hands. When I'm almost falling, hold my hands. When it looks like the weight is too long, hold my hands. When I'm about to give up on destiny, hold my hands. When the husband is not coming, hold my hands. When the job is not coming, hold my hands. When the miracle seems to be delayed, hold my hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can choose to remain at the level you are forever by giving excuses or you can take the hand of God and say, Lord, I'm on your side. I don't care what men say. Let them criticize me. I'll still be moving. I don't care where they may misunderstand me. Why are you always praying in tongues like a fool? No problem. Is it only books you will keep reading? Don't you visit friends? No problem. When the season of appearing comes, the brothers of Joseph that looked down on him, they were the ones who now came. Joseph said, I saw the sun. I saw the moon. I saw 11 stars bowing to me. Those who criticize you, they will bow. It's only a matter of time. Hallelujah. I bring a word of hope to somebody. The issue in your life right now does not come to kill you. It is the making of great men. There is no money in your pocket. Some of you have been preached to think that it's because you don't have faith. It's because you have faith. Every time you pray for the throne, a Goliath comes. When you see a Goliath, don't cry, start smiling. That's a sign that a new season is before you. The presence of an enemy always ends your current season and opens up a new season for you. If there are no enemies in your life, I'm afraid of you. May your life not be so ordinary that your enemies ignore you. You will remember this day. A day will come when you look at these pictures today. Tears will roll from your eyes. Because you will see that in a short time, God has glorified himself in your life. And you will be wondering, was it this easy? And I was almost missing it. The songwriter says, I was right at the edge of a breakthrough. Can I tell you something? I sense in my spirit that the clock is getting close to someone's life. I, I mean it from the depths of my heart. As a house, I know that we're about entering a season. I've been announcing this for months. God will not do anything in this house and not reveal it to me. I'm like a pregnant woman. That's why I stay in the secret. Like the wise men looking at the stars, trying to understand what are you saying. Because a season will be better. And we will only see and wonder and say, Lord, was it this fast? Hallelujah. If I look at this gentleman right now and I tell you, do you know you are sitting on the ground? He's not going to pray about it. He knows he's sitting on a seat. Are we together? He's had an encounter with that seat. His, his, even his physical senses have, have responded to that reality. He knows he's sitting. No matter how I try to sway him, he has entered a dimension of resolve. He knows he's sitting on a seat. If I tell him this seat is going to break, he says, no, not just that I, I have seen the dimensions. I understand the strength of this seat. It can take my weight. Listen, God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. 
Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here pastors who have come from several places let me challenge you do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter you will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John hold on I'm going to stand there stand there just stand there I'm going to call John I want you to answer me but don't come is that all right John come say I'm coming has he come so as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come and you come, come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important. Because faith is based on a basis. And the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your unbelief 
he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of this anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. Right? Like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham. So he, our Melchizedek, our high priest, receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives. But that will never happen just by dropping money. It's not about the money. There is an understanding. So your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens. Are we together now? You pray and fast, it is spiritual, but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to. So it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by God's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire. Are we together? One time, Jesus prayed for someone who was blind. And the Bible says, in this case, he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned 
I want multiplication. I want increase. Is it a possibility in God? Yes, it is. Now I believe it. But what is the system tied? What does God require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality? We must find out. So when we search scripture, we are not just trying to know. We are finding our place of partnership in scripture. When you find it, then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing God. This, that action is what we call faith. And the Bible says it is the victory that overcomes. Hmm. The victory that overcomes. So what is the key to your healing? The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. There is no healing when the word does not come for that. And when the word of God comes, the power of God is present to heal. And then the word comes. But when the word comes, it does not heal you automatically. The word comes and somewhere along the line, it produces conviction. After conviction, the word will compel obedience. Either through an instruction or whatever it is. There are conditions for reception. When you come for a meeting like this, there is a condition to receive. Number one is to believe in the Lord. Number two is to believe the vessel he will use. Believing the Lord alone will not give you a miracle. No, sir. It will always come from God through men to you. Are we together? Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. It is within his power to wipe our tears. Are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle. There are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation. Nothing seems to work. Nothing. It is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed. It will inspire you to trust that others. But it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close. Family closed. Finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise. I watch it all the time. Pastors, leaders, business people, individuals, helplessly limited. Sincere, but they are limited. Tonight, the God I serve will take that limit away. There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power 
to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for god wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom. And I would plead that you get those teachings. They are free. Because when it comes to prosperity, the gospel has to be taught. There is an understanding that must be built in your mind now god can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting god for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the lord is going to be healing the sick the lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday. I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed 
nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that god is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of god everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know i humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir god gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister. There are people streaming from all over the world with different issues. Several nations, at least 47 or so nations of the world, if I'm not mistaken, connecting. And God cannot be joking. He's not playing games with us. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe. Say, Lord, tonight, I believe you. I know you are able. And I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden. You will find out. That that door that has been closed. Maybe forever. Listen. It doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene, standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight and insist. Thank you. And say, Lord, that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean, there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight, you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they call them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men listen, believe it believe it brothers and sisters yokes are breakable causes are destroyable limitations are breakable are you hearing what I'm saying? sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. 
every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the Spirit and the Bride telling the Word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come Lord Jesus. Come miracles. Come breakthroughs. Come deliverances. Come open doors. Come speed. Come speed. Loose chains. Loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations diminish the power of God. It doesn't take time. The level of grace it takes to produce your results is available. Mm. It's available. I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit. Number one is through encounters. When you have an encounter, something is deposited into you. Number two, by obedience to principles. There is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles. Whether a believer or a non-believer, whoever activates those principles, that dimension of his power is released immediately. Like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians. A dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle. But the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God. Men have covenant with God. Not old and new. Their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream. Now, you know, I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people. And I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me, you know, I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you. And then something strange happened. I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me Gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me 
I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them. As soon as they left, I just locked the door and I sat down and boom, my room was full of God's presence and all of that. And, and I, I, when I sat down, my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates, gates opening like gates, very strange gates opening. But then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do. Listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you. You believe that? Rise up on your feet. I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos kataprakatalados. Enkreto katalabrande sekate prakatalabadas. Jabrete kate proskodo brandi gedibalas. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We're going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three by the grace of god and he will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of god comes i'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Shalamana Open up the gate. Open up the door. Shabranda Karato Sodo Braskada Baliatakata. Open up the gate. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, we know she's on in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now at the count of three. Let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos de la Taria. Mente cotos, shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embreke teketosh, shakato setash, 
never be the same never be the same lift your hands I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit this is access there are men right now you are entering into dimensions of possibilities lift your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus this is a baptism keys that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of keys Lord Jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening 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 in the name of Jesus those gates are opening no power stands against you tonight where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the Spirit of the Living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 break it now. Chains, break it now. Chains, break it now. Get ready, this road. I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba embreketo shedeleketa brata soto shopres keya 
and brataya and see someone being taken out of a pit out of a pit out of a pit in the name of jesus the son of the living god out of a pit i proclaim it the spirit of the lord is upon me and i decree and declare i decree and declare captivity ended in the name of jesus I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings. Rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ataparatoshi. Ente karato kotoba. Shekretos kilabaya. Embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Brata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekreto Sopraka Maleketo Shekreskaya Ebrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skedea Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up in the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, You need your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. Yes, I'll speak in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out now, out now, out now, out now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of Jesus. Say, no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here. God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, eight. at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 
curse those spirits. I release breakthroughs now in this overflow. In the name of Jesus, to the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is someone. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family, and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No, wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you, Salome. Come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. Want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to be free has to be free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus here it is is coming now I see like light coming on someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I set you free I'm ministering to people Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that?
please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh God, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very much because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um my God, I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus, them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit leads life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost it must go now it must go now someone with pile is being healed now somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This row, somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them, my God. My sister. You are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. 
right the lord is going to set them free because i've seen everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes, sir. is that true the lord is going to step in now at those states Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. This, Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekatos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does, where He locates people by states, locates people by states. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go. Breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, or to go Shakato Sekete, a great to Shalabariata, Embrakato Shataya Lakosata. Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus, there are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you are, I'm standing close to you. And your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room the power of God is coming on him now someone is praying a prayer in the name of Jesus you are stepping into a level the spirit of wisdom is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ is it Asabe? Asabe? I'm hearing the name Asabe. quickly I want to see how God will grant us grace this evening there are so many sick people we have to pray for Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit our family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Is Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna, inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna, miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the Living God, by the Spirit of the Living God, by the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embre kete shala pradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My other sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in a miracle service. Is is these are not just miracles, they are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the spirit. You can see me call a state, and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit. It's not some magic, these are operations, these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord oh, Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. 
in the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil will go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare I stop CS now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No. 
But my brother has. Did she take in before? No. Hmm. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He, ha he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold one. on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see. Those leaves. There is a lady. Come and join him. I'm seeing a lady. Don't be embarrassed. Please. Jesus is setting you free. There is a lady. You can't help yourself. This is not the issue of being good or bad. Please run boldly and come. If you waste our time, you just sit where you are. One lady. There is a lady. This thing has destroyed. It's not like you like it, but you can't help it. It comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come. My dear, let's pray. We have to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take in now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who, have, who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. 
praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the message of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. Uh, we are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what we are saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? My sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes is in. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them it may not even be bad friends they just got into all of these things and let me tell you maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the lord jesus will help you hmm? you've tried to stop this thing abby yes and you'll try and it won't work yes problems keep coming up that i just can't stop what do you take I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. 
pray some of you are looking at me pray with all your heart lord help this lady usually people take these things as a result of depression all kinds of challenges their lack of understanding the word of god their lack of encounter with the word of god is what produces this kind of devilish effect hallelujah look at me my dear you are my friend eh? don't cry you are my friend from today god will help you eh? say amen in the name of jesus christ eh? pastor alpha please eh? you will follow this lady just help her to stand strong some of these ladies it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people by the way when when it's time to do the final prayer we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it, in the name of love, in the name of relationship, and, and in the name of wanting to marry you, they derail you from the path of God. Anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person. That prayer has already been answered. The answer is no. Leave the person quickly. Don't say I'm waiting on God. God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details. and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you. I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction and my God what a joy to life stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Jabratos Jabratos stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Mandala Kapratos Katafridish Kalabraniakata unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for signs. We agree for wonders. Mante kalas kotambria tatosis yata kataloka rusia. Bredo go shobra diska labrata kataparadash. Le kataprando susibriata. E kata. Jabrata shebregade bosh. Pray. We receive miracles, we receive signs, we receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makotopa, Shabradaka, Sode, Barato, Sesiana, Kosh. 
Agrata Gabarato go Jobrendi Gede Balato Siada Kata Shapra Kapara Koto Sobrigadia Rabadagada Balada Koso Sobriada Balada Bosch in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ father we decree and declare agree with me right now let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now Lord this is a representation of the Christ and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world Lord we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus visit the barren heal the sick deliver the oppressed wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word let there be miracles we release miracles 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 in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out oh there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise i lift up this jar of oil and in the name of jesus christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because i was anointed in the name of jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of jesus we dedicate this 
I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit God's ability God's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say father in the name of Jesus I thank you I'm anointing you so that you will stand and as I lay my hands I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first I want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions in the name of Jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough I can always add please quickly station yourselves we are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you please I want you to begin to pray worship team you give us okay just play the instruments we'll just begin to pray in the spirit everyone praying in the spirit as the oil comes upon you begin to declare speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the word of the lord becomes my testimony the oil is anointed please quickly 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 make sure everyone is anointed make sure everyone is anointed young old please keep standing everybody it's morning already i want to make an altar call quickly our time is up it's just two minutes to six please keep standing no moving around inside outside there are people here you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god and you're saying apostle if you will pray for me i'm ready to hand my life over to god like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people I know that it is morning but it should not rob you the greatest miracle literally and truthfully is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you are you are inside you are outside any of the overflows online you are following and you are saying man of God I want you to pray with me and at the same time there are people you have given your heart to the Lord but things happen around your life your life went haywire and you need your sin I, I cannot go back the way I came I want to have this restoration this encounter I'm rededicating my life to Jesus wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside please clear the way for them make sure you don't discourage them let's appreciate them as they come wherever you are God bless you make your way to the front are you appreciating them they are coming please run run quickly inside outside if you're coming I want you to run God bless you God bless you clap hands for them they are coming God bless you koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming don't let anyone stop you if you are joining them please come quickly clear the way for them overflow one two three and then the fourth one those online connect with us I'm about to lead them a very special prayer very special prayer thank you so much ladies and gentlemen I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. 
I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for and we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. You go from glory to glory in Jesus name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Trinity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can also download our messages on www.forshared.com Trinity Network International, duplicating the coolness of God's life on earth. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.